in this triangle, it is your answer. But this same reference angle is the solution here. So how do you find angle B? Well, angle B is going to be 180 minus 56.76. Why is that? Because this is the reference angle, and if you say 180 minus the reference angle, that's going to give you a quadrant to answer. So 180 minus 56.76 is going to give us B equal to 123.24 degrees. 123.24. This is angle B in our second triangle. So I'm going to put 123.24 degrees. Okay. Now if you know angle A and you know angle B, can you find angle C? Well, sure you can. How do you find angle C? It's going to be 180 minus A minus B, which is 180 minus 42 minus 123.24. And angle C is going to be 14.76 degrees. fourteen point seven six so up here we can write fourteen point seven six degrees okay now I know angle A I know angle B I know angle C I know side A I know side B what's left side C now we do have to use the law of sines here so I'm gonna say side C over the sine of angle C equals side B over the sine of angle B. Now why am I doing this? Well because sine of angle B, angle B is different for this part of the problem than it was for the first part. So I know it will give me a different result than the first time I did this. Okay, so plug in my numbers. Uh, what is angle C? It is 14.76 and that equals B, which is 15, over sine of 123.24 degrees. Okay, now multiply by sine of 14.76, you get C equals 15 times sine 14.76 over the sine of 123.24 degrees and when you plug all of that in you're going to get side C equals 4.57 meters. So there are the answers for the second triangle and you can write that in here 4.57 meters. And what you can see is side A, 12, 12, didn't change. Side B, 15, 15, didn't change. But look what happened. Angle B went from acute to obtuse, which caused angle C to go from 81 to less than 15, 14.76 because angle C became so much smaller what happened to side C? It went from 17.72 to 4.57. So there are your two triangles with your two solutions.